Hey Audacious Church, happy Christmas Eve. Very excited, very excited in my house and um, very excited to be uh, sharing devotions with you on Christmas Eve. And um, it's so important in this busy, crazy time. Uh, for those of you that are traveling today, safe journeys. For those of you that you are doing your last minute Christmas shopping today, safe shopping. <laughs> Um, but I know uh, it's great to just take time out to think uh, about God and spend some time with him. And so I just want to share um, a verse with you and a few thoughts um, today. So the verse I want us to look at is from John chapter 1 uh, and verse 9 to 14. And there's a little conundrum that John is in trying to describe, um, I guess, the very first Christmas. But Jesus being here on earth. Let me read from verse 9. It says this. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human design, or of a, human's, uh, of a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of grace and truth. And sometimes when you read this part, the first part of John, and you know the first part of this chapter is about uh, Jesus being part of creation and being there in the beginning. But this is just kind of um, zoning in. And sometimes it can feel a little bit like uh, a bit of a riddle, you know, like, a, uh, you know, black and white and red all over. Or what's the Christmas one? Um, what have I got? Oh, I'm tall when I'm young and short when I'm old. What am I? Got it? Yes. It's a candle, Christmas candle, tall. Anyway, this isn't a riddle, but this is John trying to get his head around the fact that Jesus, who was there at the beginning, who is... God, fully God, and yet became fully man. And baby Jesus being born, it was, it was this kind of unhuman concept that he was trying to get his head around, that Jesus humbled himself to be a baby, a human, being found in human likeness. Like, it's just an amazing thing to get your head around. And John, who had you know, knew Jesus as a human, had to understand that when Jesus was born, it was something way more than a nice Christmas card, uh, way more than a, a plot point in a nativity play. Um, but it, it was actually a pivotal moment in all of time, in all of mankind, this amazing moment. And even though when Jesus grew up, some humans um, did not know who he was and rejected him and his message, and yet Jesus being born at this moment in history, at this moment in time, was indeed um, saving all of mankind. And so it's such an incredible thing. And I guess what we want to think about at this time is not just about uh, the presence, not just about the, the busyness or even the, the relax and the retreat and the family time, which is an amazing part of Christmas, but actually thinking about the significance of Jesus who came to be a baby, to grow up, to be a man who lived perfectly and died to take away all our sin. You can't have Christmas without thinking about Easter. And um, I guess that's the challenge of us right now um, in this time is to, one, I want to challenge you to, to thank God for Jesus, not the holiday or some time off work, or um, anything else, but to thank God for Jesus and what it means to us, the salvation that comes through the baby Jesus that grew up to pay for our sin. Um, but also on this day, I just want you to think about uh, people in your world, people in your life, people at work, people in your family that you're going to be seeing that maybe you haven't seen since last year, or maybe you didn't see them last year, so it's been two years. I don't know, but actually sharing that message of light, sharing that message of hope, sharing that incredible thing that this season represents the amazing gift of God, the God's awesome rescue plan coming for me and you to pay for our sin. 
that perfect little baby um, didn't stay on the Christmas card, but actually grew up to pay for our sin. And maybe God is going to give you an opportunity today, tomorrow, on Boxing Day when you're completely stuffed and you can't get up off the couch. But actually, maybe God's going to give you an opportunity to share the significance of what Jesus means to you, of what this season means to you, of what God has done for you with the amazing gift of Jesus. And what a gift that could be to give to someone this Christmas, that revelation, that understanding, that testimony of what God's done in your life, of what the gift of salvation means to you, the God's awesome rescue plan that can be for us and can also be for our friends and family this Christmas time. So have a great time. Remember, the best gift ever. Jesus Christ, the hope of the world, the hope of mankind, bringing the gospel of love. Stay safe, party hard, and um, yeah, don't eat too much. And um, God bless you. Share your faith this Christmas.